Red Bulls and FC Dallas just moments away from first kick at Pizza Hut Park. For New York, a lineup tonight that is tweaked due to the absence of several regulars, including Thierry Henry, who remains sidelined with the Achilles injury. Two more games in the next eight days. They hope to have him at full strength later this week. Meanwhile, Carlos Mendez will get a start at left back for the first time in five years. Chris Albright will wear the captain's armband. Lynn Pair, Tanio, McCarty, and Dane Richards operating in the midfield. Richards dropping back from that role as a striker over previous games with New York. For FC Dallas, Shellis Hindman with this starting 11. Mike Own Santos is the man up top. They miss a lot offensively with no Breck Shea. Yeah, they really do, but watch out for Benitez. He will get into the attack at every opportunity that's afforded to him. He's going to make those overlapping runs. He's got the good left peg, so he will get forward. Jair Benitez, the Colombian defender. Zach Lloyd, also a big part of the attack. The fifth overall pick back in 2010. Dan of all the fans in Frisco, Texas. Absolutely shocking in terms of Bobby Ryan. And obviously the FC Dallas family, the soccer family all across North America. Major League Soccer uh, mourns his passing. Rare combination of, in, in one man of, physical toughness and ability and an air of grace and humility so sorely missed as you see a warm night light wind in Frisco Texas tonight partly cloudy we understand there's a chance of showers tonight could affect us as the game moves on and a big one for each team for New York 12th highest point total in Major League Soccer seven games to go Time to get on the right side of the playoff picture, but right now on the outside looking in. As we get a look at Chris Albright, that's a nice message. The captain's armband, it's indicative of how he's played lately. I don't think there's any question. Chris Albright has made it all the way back. Uh, a myriad of different injuries over the years. At one time, a U.S. international and a premier right back. And, wow, danger at the back for Red Bulls. Well, that's the first little sign of the New York Red Bulls needing to get it together with a patchwork defense. Tim Ream, who was the last man back in that sequence, was also suffering a lower leg injury this week. He improved as we got a little bit closer to game day. And as you can see, he was good to go. Ugo Ahemelu plays this back for Kevin Hartman. The biggest challenge, Steve, in this game for New York as we've talked about the players out, they've got to play as a unit. They've got to move up and down the field together. Ricardo Villa lays this off. Daniel Cruz plays this to the right side. That's where Jackson, the Brazilian midfielder, works on Carlos Mendes, and we'll see how he adjusts to that side of the field. It's been a long time for Carlos there. Luke Rogers' first touch gets it back from Agadello. Right side, Dean Richards looking to take on Benitez. The Colombian wins the battle. Andrew Jacobson, versatile player, thrust into a roll in the midfield. VR stripped up by Stephen Keel. Free kick for Dallas. Well, VR had no choice. Looked up, a teammate was in an offside position, so he had to try and take Stephen Keel on the dribble. VR, the Brazilian midfielder. There is that Brazilian influence, and Shellis Heinemann, long time ago, worked for Sao Paulo, has always kept an eye on the talent, and it's indicative of how the roster has changed over since 2008. Frank Rost in a big spot for New York. Fourth minute of the match, and already staring down. Free kick, Daniel Hernandez. Ball loose in the box, Tamu Tanio is there. Rossed out with a quad injury since the first half of a game against Real Salt Lake back in August. Jair Marufo is the referee, C.J. Morganti, Corey Rockwell with the assistance, and Abby Okulaja, the fourth man tonight. Mendez, far side. Agadello. Why was Agadello so good last week? What did you see from the young... U.S. national forward. 
Well, one of the things that young players have to adjust to is how hard they play the game and when they make their runs. And Agadello has struggled with that, but being thrown into the game in the second half against Vancouver, he was flat out 100 miles an hour. So he energized the whole team as well as getting the goal. Daniel Cruz for FC Dallas tries to play it for Jackson. Mendez takes no chances. Zach Lloyd is wearing number 12. He gave up number 19 as a tribute to Bobby Ryan. He'll wear that number for the rest of this season. Headed by VR, loose in the box, and a shot that goes off Woodwork. Well, there's danger anytime the ball takes a bounce in the penalty area. That's the original flick. That would have been offside. I think this flag should be up. Yeah, there it is. Because on the initial contact, two players were in an offside position, so that goal, if it had gone in, would not have counted. Maicon Santos, the man on that last try, acquired from Toronto in a trade last month, and a guy who'll be needed with many of their best offensive players sidelined tonight, Chavez and Breck Shea, and of course, David Ferreira. The timeline for the reigning MVP, by the way, they're hoping to have him back sometime next month, a couple of games before the playoffs, and if he returns to form, Dallas is that much better. Stephen Keel for New York. Albright. Injury story for FC Dallas. Big players on that list as this is played ahead for Jackson. Tim Ream. Back to defend, taken by Mendez. Rogers pushed from behind. It's foul against FC Dallas. There's George John. A lot of interest globally for that man. Yeah, a lot of talk about him going to Blackburn. Never worked out. Was trying to get his Greek passport to make it happen. That's one of the matchups to watch during this game. Luke Rogers against George John. We look at the Red Bulls out of action. Henri Marquez Miller. Robinson has been out for a while, and Jan Gunnar Soli suspended. Red Bulls injury report brought to you by Kia Motors. Discover Kia's full lineup of high quality, stylish, and dependent. And he does for the home side. Plays it across, and Ross is there. Well, big question mark for Red Bulls. That man and go, the German, obviously didn't work out the way they thought when they signed him, almost immediately injured. Luke Rogers in a starting role tonight. Got tripped up with George John. Drew a reaction from the crowd. A front crossed. As we see Benitez with another crossing opportunity this time. Can't keep it alive, our first quarter of the night. But Ross was concerned with his ability to kick. He was fired up this week in practice, too. He wanted his team to elevate its intensity. And a concern for Dallas is a very brief one, but he does his back to his feet. Look, Frank Ross, for me, is a big time goalkeeper. He certainly hasn't played that way since he came here, but two years ago, the best goalkeeper in the Bundesliga. First quarter of the match. Played across, headed away by Reem. Daniel Cruz taken away by Rogers. Rogers looks up. Agadello. Richards. Dan Richards off his line is open with a big stop. Well, we see the impact already in the ninth minute that Luke Rogers brings to the game. Actually underrated as a passer of the ball. That was the perfect pass into space. Beats the back line. Dave Richards runs it into it. And Hartman does a good job closing him down. Best chance for New York in the early portion of the match. Leon. Deflected off Albright. Red Bulls tonight carry an eight-game winless streak. Their longest under Hans Baca into play this evening. 
coming off their 15th draw of the season, tying the MLS record established just weeks ago by the Chicago Fire. It's getting late. Points are at a premium. A game they need is in play tonight as this deflects off Albright. Thirty-two-year-old Philadelphia native playing for the injured Roy Miller. He could be back at some point later this week. Until picking up an injury, Miller had played every game this season at left back. Theon, one timer, had the right idea, but it goes wide. Yeah, that's high degree of difficulty, but that's how FC Dallas plays. Move the ball around, flicks it to VR, and he tries to take it on the volley. Renew your season tickets for the 2012 season now for Friday, September 30th at the Giddy for a Stampede membership black card valued at $200 or a platinum membership card valued at $50 for each seat you renew for free. To renew, log on to your account manager at NewYorkRentBulls.com or call your account manager at 877 rb beginning now. Opportunity here for set down some of the made by Rost. Well, that's how quickly a game can turn. Dane Richards, uncharacteristic boy in the midfield. And now it's Mike Kahn. There's the through ball. Takes him a little bit further away from goal than he wanted to go. And the big German goalkeeper sticks out the left paw. I don't think he got a touch to it, but he had that far post cover. You can make the case no player will have a bigger impact on whether the Red Bulls make the playoffs than Frank Rost if he remains healthy. A team that's had so much struggle defensively, something nobody anticipated. And Rost is motivated. He still doesn't have a win in MLS. High price designated player. Surrendering eight goals in just over three and a half games. They need him to be. Better than most in the league. Dean Richards gives it a run down the right side. In this 12th minute, we remain scoreless. Good job to the corner of New York's first of the match. Kevin Hoffman, one of the real leaders of an FC Dallas team. Corner swung out high and wide, headed forward by McCarty, but right back by John. Let's see if Richards can keep this alive. New York will have it anyway. Throw in Chris Albright. Deflected away, a hemaloo for Daniel Hernandez. Keel, across from Mendez. Quickly played back, Stephen Keel with his first start. Second start since July 2nd, getting the opportunity tonight for the suspended Rafa Marquez played into space by FC Dallas. Daniel Cruz playing ahead. Quick decisions for Dallas. Michael and Santos gets it a go. Not enough on it, it goes by. Oh, talked about FC Dallas so good with one, two passing. This one, perhaps, Mikon should have slid that ball over to Jackson to his right. Elected to try and go to goal himself, scuffed it. Two goals in five games since the trade from Toronto FC, Mike Owen Santos. Gets it back here from the offline, stays down, Mike Owen Santos! And again, he just misses, and this has to stop right now. Too many chances for number nine. Yeah, it, it's really about lack of coordination between the back line and the midfield, and you see that back line, Keel and Tim Ream and Albright, they were not in unison, no pressure on the ball, so it was flipped over the top. Michael Santos. Wow. 
Well, this was New York's concern, a team that struggled defensively coming into tonight's match and playing without three of the regular members of the back four. New York fortunate, a scoreless match in the 15th minute. It really starts, though, in the midfield, Steve, and that's where one pair of Tino. That's McCarty, Dane Richards, they've got a markup. Luke Rogers, no fouls, if it'll do one down, gets a go, and just missed. He looks good. Now yeah, Luke Rogers gives you 100%. That's a good looking in step drive with the right foot. And Lou thought there was contact. But Luke Rogers, hey, the whistle, play on. Dallas quickly transitioning. But well, it's been well documented what Luke Rogers means to this Red Bull team in terms of their goal output terms of their one-loss record when he's in action. Really a perfect compliment to Thierry Henry, his arrival from England. Well, if that's the difference, so can Juan Agadello, the youngster, can he read the game of Luke Rogers and take advantage of those spaces? Luke Rogers will make a run, grab defenders. Agadello's got to find his space. Right now, this is a wide open game. Stepping up is Zach Lloyd. Daniel Hernandez from out of the back. That's too far to goal kick for New York. Dallas is a team you would think is physically and emotionally trained. They're not using any of that as an excuse for tonight. They played more games overall than most teams in the league. They're in CONCACAF Champions League. They played Wednesday night. I'm not sure Brett Shea would have played tonight's match anyway, even if he was not suspended. He left at halftime last week. They didn't use him in midweek. A lot of wear and tear from all the games he's played in so many different competitions, including the national team. Uh, how do you overcome the emotional loss of Bobby Ryan? When you see it before the game, you see it parked on the field, you see BR number 19 on the, the black long dance of the players, so... New York will have it. You'll see those armbands in the crowd on occasion as well. Fans as well had the opportunity to get black armbands for tonight for any donation that they saw fit. Get a little bit of a taste, including right there at the center of the field of just how popular number 19 was even after his playing days and ended. Stephen Keel. Goes over the top. Adelo brings this down. Joel and Pear waiting for it. Able to cross out looking for Rogers. Skips to Richards, kept alive. New York on the attack. Dane Richards played across and headed away. George John out of the back. Really no defender in MLS has played as well as him this year. And now sets up the counterattack, Ricardo Mio. Just out of the reach of Jackson. He's getting up to the attack a lot early tonight. Yeah, we all heard Steve talk about the importance in any game of scoring the first goal. I think it's multiplied in this game because of the emotional circumstances of the game for FC Dallas and because of the desperate circumstances for New York Red Bulls. Agadello. Back for Mendez and all the way for Frank Ross and goal. Kielsch tried to shake away from Mike on Santos. They're going to give this ball to New York, much to the dismay of Dallas, as you can hear. Some pretty clear audio from the sideline. Yeah, but that's not a ball they'd want to see Stephen Keel dribbling out of his own end. Get it to a playmaker, push it up to Tano, find Dax McCarty. You don't want your cent young, central, relatively inexperienced central defender trying to dribble up into traffic. All right, throw in Rogers in the box, able to flick it. Comes to the foot of McCarty, Dax gives it a go, deflected away. Ball still alive, and Richards. Flag went up on Dane Richards, and Dallas will have it.
Chaya Benitez will leave this for Ugo and Hamalud. There is the faithful tonight, as you see, we've entered the 19th minute of the match, and fans are up there, salute for Bobby Ryan, and we'll see much of that tonight. This is their first MLS match at home since his sudden and traffic passing. Mike on Santos, Via! And Dan Ross, he got the hand out. Crossed by Via. Headed wide, and New York once again is on the defensive. Yeah, that's actually a more difficult save than it looks like because you're anticipating the shot to go low to the far post. And Ross, he's got the athleticism to get down, parry it out with the right hand. Good goalkeeping. Well, this is the silver lining for New York tonight. And that's the play of Frank Ross, who's had two big moments to make a difference in each time he did. Then he does out of the back. Over the top, looking for Jackson. Comes to the foot of Daniel Cruz. Jackson Goncalves, back for Cruz. Play across Santos. And Ross is there, positioned perfectly. Impressed with how many chances Dallas has had with a lot of the big guns out of the lineup tonight. FC Dallas plays as a unit. They move the ball, they run into space. They play in unison, so if you're Red Bulls, you've got to knock them out of this rhythm. Andrew Jacobson, the club leader with five assists. Played back. Scoreless match in the 22nd minute. Tanio couldn't contain Jackson. Looking for Cruz and taken by New York. Lynn Pair clears it out of harm's way. Dallas coming off. 2-0 defeat in MLS play last week on the road. Really one of the team's worst outings of the year. Looking to rebound tonight. New York has it here. Right, this is a game I think you'd like to see more of Dax McCarty on the ball. That's a look at the unbelievable West Western Conference. And it displays the disparity, the powers of the two conferences going into play tonight. The top four teams all with more points than the first place team in the Eastern Conference, which is the Columbus crew for now. Here's Luke Rogers. Terrence faces goal. Who's the whiff? Made it easier to defend by taking a narrow run. Kevin Hartman. Rogers running hard, looking to keep this alive, and he does. The Englishman looking much sharper than he did a week ago. He's got his legs early. It's taken here by Dallas. Via. Cruz. Jacobson with a cross, and it'll come back the other way. This season, the New York Red Bulls are giving wings to the city of New York by providing needed equipment and elite-level coaching to local soccer programs through the Red Bull New York's Got Wings project. For more information on New York's Got Wings and to vote for your favorite soccer club, go to RedBullUSA.com forward slash NYGW. Flicked ahead by Agadello, but it comes to the foot of Benitez. Boy, Hartman communicates well with the four in front of him. Yeah, and again, consistency and excellent communication. Knocked down on the near side is Jair Benitez. It'll foul against New York. Benitez, part of that back four that really got together again in midweek in the CONCACAF Champions League 
draw that they played here on Wednesday night that was against Panama side Tauro. And this is their strength. Here's Cruz. Able to float this across. Jackson can't bring it down. It's a busy night in Major League Soccer. The weekend got started with yesterday's 3-0 blitzing by Portland of New England. Toronto with a big men. Kuvermans with a couple of goals. Chicago with a late goal by Adoro beating Chivas USA. Latou has the goal for Philadelphia. The Union build up to that game. They were calling it the biggest game in the franchise's brief history. San Jose and Houston scoreless in the first half of their match. Michael and Santos on the march for FC Dallas. Split two defenders, plays it for VR. Couldn't keep it alive. Here's Dane Richards. Playoff picture really hasn't unclouded just yet. New York on the outside looking in. A win tonight, they pull even point-wise anyway with the Portland Timbers. That's the wild card situation. You can make the argument, though, that New York's best chance to make the playoffs would be a top three finish in the Eastern Conference. Well, again, Steve, it is so competitive. That's the standard standings that you alluded to. But if you're a player, if you're New York, you just have to break the downward cycle. Don't worry about looking at the scoreboard. Stop thinking about other games. Go find a way to win a game. Zach Lloyd is the player down for FC Dallas, even though Dallas was the team called for the foul. Yeah, really just an inadvertent collision between Lloyd and Joe Limpair. Just getting back to your point, think about what a win tonight would do to set up the rest of the week. Real Salt Lake midweek at Red Bull Arena. Already we're hearing better than 23,000 tickets sold for the Portland game, which takes place one week from tonight. They enter that stretch with some momentum and it could change a lot. Brought down by Rogers, and a crack is blocked away. That was off the foot of Lindpair. Uh, I think you're absolutely right, Steve, and that's why as an athlete, and all these guys are competitors, the season has been an absolute disaster, and you could turn it all around in a week. <laughs> Referee Jair Marufa. This is played into the box, and Hartman is there. He had Luke Rogers in the vicinity. 28th minute, we remain scoreless. All tough opponents for New York from this point on. Not that there have been easy games leading up to this point. All teams, six of the seven, are ahead of them in the standings. The only team trailing them in the standings is Toronto. And right now, I'm not sure you want to mess with Toronto FC because they're a different team since Springs and Kuvermans arrived. Yeah, I don't think there's any question the severity of the challenge. And that's why you've just got to focus on the next 15 minutes. You can't think about the hole you've dug or what you face in these last seven games. J just go win the next 15, 20 minutes. Brought down by Carlos Mendez. We believe it's his first start at left back since 2006. Makeshift lineup tonight for New York. Nehemelu Benitez. Michael Santos saw it taken away. Counter attack for New York. Tanio with room to run. Gives this up for Rogers. Hartman is off his line. Rogers able to play it across, but nobody's home. That's excellent transition. Tanio taking the ball out of the midfield, pushing it out wide to the right. Perfect pass. Ihimalu kept Luke Rogers onside, and Hartman, wow, overcommitted, but smart enough not to draw any contact. That's a danger as a goalkeeper when you're out in that wide position, but this man's savvy enough to back off. 15th year in MLS. Seen it all. 
Nobody on the receiving end of that last pass by Rodgers. Should there have been a Red Bull there? Yeah, again, it was quick transition out of the midfield, and once Tenyo, Tenyo went forward, Dax McCarty stayed back. So, yes, to answer your question in a perfect world, yes, but you could see the way Red Bulls are playing. They're not taking any chances. They're making sure first defensively they're covered. One-time Metro star, Daniel Hernandez. Looking for a VR. New York in the 30th minute. Set for a Frank Ross goal kick. VR, 32 years old, his first year in Major League Soccer. Chris Albright moves forward. Rost. Tim Ream out of the back. Zach Lloyd. Rost way off to deny Mike on Santos. Now we talked about the challenge for Red Bull, Steve, but FC Dallas, too. We talked about the circumstances of this game. Bobby Ryan, we've talked about their last couple of results, and they're not playing well, so very important game for them. Each one of these teams has an eye on the Seattle DC game tonight for different reasons. Red Bulls want to pass DC. FC Dallas wants to pass Seattle. Foul called against FC Dallas and Andrew Jacobson. Well, the physical disparity in Dax McCarty obviously making a return to a play against the club he played for very well for many years. He was a teammate of Bobby Ryan's for three of those seasons. No player. New York more affected by that news than Dax McCarty is. Here's Dane Richards. Avoids one defender, Benitez. To the foot of Jacobson. Tanio wins this. Lynn Pair for Rogers. Chance for New York in this first half. Luke Rogers deflected away by John. Well played out of the area by Dallas. Here's Mike on Santos. Cruz now gets some help on the left side. Benitez moves forward. Hemelu out of the back. VR. Benitez, and that's Albright who swoops in. That's a good recovery by Chris Albright. He was drawn inside. He got back outside. And you cannot afford to let Benitez get around the edge. Hernandez heads this forward. Red Bull's not out of danger just yet. Cruz. Gave it a go from a difficult angle. Dax McCarty, an emotional return to Dallas. He had many fine seasons here, and he talked about the return trip to Texas with us. That's a place I have a lot of good memories, um, a lot of good friends. I was there for five years, so it's definitely a long time in this uh, profession. So, um, you know, a lot of cherished memories there. So it'll definitely be a, a little bit of a, a different feel, but. Um, I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to seeing everyone. Acquired, of course, not from Dallas, but from D.C. in the De Rosario trade. Jackson moves forward for FC Dallas, lays it off nicely. VR. Played out wide, Dallas on the attack. Blocked away by Mendez. Agadello locked in a battle with a Hemelu. Benitez. Still going for Dallas. Some contact with Agadello, and now Jair Marufo steps in and blows his whistle. Yeah, and you applaud the effort of Juan Agadello to get back, but you don't want to foul there. You give away an unnecessary set piece opportunity. Frank Ross, two big saves already in this first half.
George John has scored two goals this season. He's a good target at 6-3, and he's one of the men up for Dallas. Here's your free kick. Defended away, and a crack from long range sails way out of the picture, and once again, it's off the foot of Danny Cruz. Well, huge playoff implications surround the Red Bull September 24th match a week from tonight against the Timbers. Red Bulls fans are recognizing that, and now we get word that the game is almost sold out. Hurry to get your tickets today. Log on to NewYorkRedBulls.com to join New York Stampede. We should take the time to mention that Major League Soccer is in a period right now of growth that the league is so proud of and enjoying attendance as we get a look now at Agadello with the flag staying down played across for Rogers and it's in the back of the net and New York is on the board it developed all very quickly and welcome back to the starting lineup Luke Rogers it's one nothing New York I'll tell you what if you're a New York Red Bulls fan you can't be any happier Roll reversal, and what a terrific job by Agadello. That's what I love to see. That's good soccer intelligence. Had the vision, looked up, knew he had his teammate at the back post. Excellent work by Agadello. The lead, something New York's enjoyed something they wanted very much tonight they feel they've been on the defensive in too many games and let's see if that changes their comfort level for the rest of this match look at dane richards go and hemelu tries to fight him off and gives it to benitez that is huge for him because we're not looking for more Mendez back for Tim Ray. Agadello. Played it along the near side, but taken away. Andrew Jacobson for FC Dallas. Well, we talked about the challenges this New York Red Bull team has had, and you're on the road, you're missing all these players, and now you've got the goal. So hopefully they're energized because they cannot let down for a moment against this Dallas team. Little flick, Frank Ross lost his footing, but he's just fine. More information on the Red Bulls, you can always visit NSG.com 24-7. Want to hear from you, ask the announcers. Be back as part of our Bulls when the team gets back home. The course of the next two games, Wednesday on MSG Plus, and then Saturday right back here on MSG. Jackson with his team down one. 39th minute, one nothing New York. Ricardo Villar. Hernandez. Benitez. Little flick into the box, and that's just a bit too far for Michael Santos. Uh, once again, though, Michael Santos finding the gap. And he finds that little bit of space and really gets a wide open look at that header. You've got to mark up a little tighter, and you've got to put pressure on that ball being delivered. Talk about a big six minutes coming up here to finish off the half. New York would love to see a zero on the scoreboard. Rodgers has the goal. Made a run, but it's taken here by Benitez. Thierry Henry watching from back home in New York. Did not make the trip. The Achilles flaring up. But he's seen a strike partner make a difference here tonight. Off of Himaloo, New York. Hey, Chris, your line? Okay. On a throw in. That's what he was talking about. Seven goal on the season. That's second only to Henri, who shares the lead in MLS with a dozen. A different team with him in the lineup. I don't think we can say it enough. Yeah, well, again, Steve, it's twofold. He 
he's a smart player, he's a physical player, and he's constantly working and making those good runs. He also lifts, I think, the passion of the team a little bit because of the way he plays. Last sequence, it's a foul called against New York. Here's Daniel Hernandez, one of the strongest legs in NLS. Former football kicker at SMU. Lofts this one softly into the box and look out. Getting up for that big George John. Well, again, Frank Rost has made a couple of huge saves and there have been some defensive lapses, defensive lapses that haven't cost Red Bulls. On that set piece opportunity, there are two wide open players. There's John, fights his way. Wow, got right by Tim Ream, and another player got in behind Dax McCarty, but they didn't get punished for those mistakes. Not sure if it'll help if they can at least get to the halftime locker room and talk about things together. Well, it couldn't hurt. Right now, they've kept Dallas at bay, leading one nothing. Agadello collects it, quickly taken away. Hernandez. Benitez, Maicon Santos, stutter step between two Red Bull defenders. VR from long range and right to Frank Rost. Well, they've had their opportunities. That one low probability. Frank Rost is not getting beaten on that shot. Drills the shot right into his chest. Agadello left side, Zach Lloyd is there. Boy, look at the shot disparity. It's 12-5 in favor of Dallas, but New York has the number where it counts. Agadello with the assist on the goal by Luke Rogers. He's played well the last two games. That's part of the learning process, Steve, for a young player. How do you do it over a 90-minute game? It's one thing when you come in as a sub and you just bring energy and you run, but those young legs, you should be able to do it for a 90-minute game, and he's done it. I'm wondering, as we see a run by Lynn Pair here, streaking down the left side, played it across, Hartman is there. I'm wondering if there comes a point where he's playing so well even if Rodgers and Henri are together, where Baca says, I have to find a place for him in my lineup. Well, that would be a pleasant problem. I think if Luke Rodgers and Thierry Henry are healthy, that's your tandem up top. So does Agadello slot into an attacking midfield position or out wide left in the midfield where he's played? That's where I thought he was actually at his best last week as we see Benitez looking for the equalizing goal. Richards. Back defensively. Throw in for FC Dallas. 44th minute of the match. If you're just joining us, Luke Rogers with the lone goal. Here's Daniel Cruz, able to play it across. Once again, New York dodges a bullet. A Hemelu. Hernandez. Lloyd moving up into the attack. Zach Lloyd looks at his options, plays it across, and that's too far for the on-rushing Cruz. That's the previous play by Tim Ream. Does a great job attacking that ball in the air. All right, Jackson is all speed. He gets up so quickly, and he is a dangerous player no matter where he plays. We've seen him at right back this year. We've seen him in midfield. He's been up almost in a striker's position at certain points here tonight. Cruz wanted the call, did not get it. So Frank Ross, goal kick, might be looking at the final 40 seconds of the first half. Not sure if any stoppage time will be added. Played rather cleanly this first half with very few delays. Here's Ross. Better of the run of play for FC Dallas, but that doesn't mean a thing. Red Bulls have the goal, want to get into halftime with the score intact. Agadello back for Tanio. Mendez plays it for Lindpair. 
It's off New York. Final seconds, maybe, of this first half. Zach Lloyd won't even get the throw in. That's all. Good first half for New York. They have the goal, and Frank Rost has played well. They haven't lost yet when leading at halftime. Well, the two players that stand out for me, Frank Rost in goal for New York Red Bulls, and, of course, Luke Rogers. He's energized the team. So halftime at Pizza Hut Park. That play is the difference. Rogers, in his first start since July 9th, has New York on top. Don't assume it was left by accident. If you see something, say something. Introducing the 2012 Kia Sorento. With up to 32 miles per gallon and more features than ever before. And right now, at least the 2000... ...for Hernandez. Here's Cruz. Dallas still looking for the equalizing goal. Able to play it across. Dropped into space. In the second half, he started the previous five games. The Moroccan did. Potential for New York to turn... It's struggling season around in these next 45 minutes. Can they keep FC Dallas off the board and gain their first win since July 6th? Amazing it's taken that long. That 5-0 win over Toronto that night that seems like 10 years ago. Here's Ro Dane Richards, far side. Bellucci first touch, tries to spring Richards down the far side, but taken away by Benitez. Well, the first look at where Medi Bellucci is playing is up top with Agadello, leaving Dane Richards back as a wide right midfield player. Options there for New York. Well, in an attempt to protect the lead, that's probably the route that I would go as well. Dane is more liable to do better things defensively for you on the outside, is he not? Yeah, I totally agree, and, and no need to push up Dane into an attacking position. He's filled in at striker when necessary. No need to do that right now. New York on a throw-in. There's Chris Albright. McCarty. Ream out of the back. Links up with Lynn Pair. Here's Mendes. Out of the back, Ream. Didn't think we'd see a game this year with residue of the football lines, but uh, we're getting a little bit of that. This is obviously such a hotbed for high school football. And since the county helped pull this stadium together, that's, that's part of the deal that they do have. They've done a nice job to dull them out. It's not taking away too much aesthetically, but it's something we'll deal with probably tonight and probably not again for the rest of the season. Zach Lloyd played back. Here's John. Well, this is, Steve, a critical juncture in the season and in the game, and FC Dallas is going to get players engaged and, and find a way to try and get the next goal. Out of the back. Played by New York. Agadello tried to drop it for Medi Bellucci, but taken by FC Dallas. Back to the goal in the first half. I did not give enough credit to Stephen Keel. That was a world-class ball that he played out of the back that found Juan Agadello in space. Taken here by Tanio. Bellucci. Pass behind Limpere. Red Bulls get it back. Tanio centrally in the midfield for McCarty. Looking for Richards, taken away. Ricardo Villar, the Brazilian for FC Dallas. Mike on Santos played out wide. Looking for the equalizing goal as the home team. Played across, Tanio denies that, but it comes to the foot of Jacobson. 
Benitez into the box. Keel is there, brought down. Jacobson turns around, faces goal, puts it on the left peg. The shot is blocked. Still alive. Jackson for Lloyd. Played across, and Keel is there to head it away. Andrew Jacobson takes this. Played here for Lloyd. Patient build up by FC Dallas as this comes out of the back. George John. Ream, a little difficulty there, and now back for Frank Rost. If you're just joining us, Rogers has the goal. Rost with two very big stops in the first half. And Thierry Henry not with the team. Back in New York after the Achilles began flaring up late this week. Zach Lloyd, ball came out. New York will have it. Yeah, Thierry Henry, I'm sure watching and hoping that his teammates can keep this season alive. He's done his part. But it's been really a very hard season to predict. On the bench for New York, Aubrey, Castle, Nielsen, Rooney, and Herzog, Bunakandul, the number two goalkeeper. Team playing without four of its regulars tonight, New York. Balucci. Three players missing from the Dallas lineup, though, of significance. Agadello on the march. And that's a Hemelu. It's his best year in MLS, Hugo Ahemelu. He's played well alongside George John. For Dallas, weakened with the loss of Breck Shade tonight. Jeremy Hall, the ex-Red Bull. Jack Stewart, Bobby Warshaw. We might see the 19-year-old Colombian Fabian Castillo, Galindo, and Ruben Luna. made mention of Breck Shea, who finished number one in the poll on MLSsoccer.com. Best players under the age of 24. Castillo was on that list as well, the 19-year-old. And Juan Agadello, certainly a big part of that, I believe was in the top five. Jackson Goncalves collects this and plays for Hernandez. Here's Cruz, Dallas still looking for the equalizing goal. Able to play it across, dropped into space, and luckily for the Red Bulls, VR's header comes to Rust. Yeah, they had some opportunities there. That's a score in the first half. DC United playing that game out in Seattle, down a goal. That's more good news for New York. DC, one of the teams that they're chasing, Michael Fusito has the goal for the Sounders in that match. <laughs> No team picked up a bigger injury last week than D.C. when Chris Pontius suffered a broken leg. He and Charlie Davies really began to find chemistry. That'll hurt D.C. down the stretch. 52nd minute, 1-0 New York. Luke Rogers has exited the match. He has the goal tonight, though. Throw in Lloyd. Albright keeps it away from VR. It comes to Jair Benitez. Mike on Santos in traffic. Flicked it forward, still alive, and now Rost will get it out of harm's way. So many times we've seen the Red Bulls with comeback ability in their recent matches. Now they're in the position where they need to lock one down, which they haven't done for a long time. Yeah, totally different proposition. They've always showed the ability to come back. They've never shown the ability this season to play focus for 